Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you guys a new feature. It's called the tip jar. What is the tip jar? It's a really, really fun feature that you can add on your screen. It's very lightweight, very, very simple, very clean. What it does, it collects the pearls and bars um, that you get in your stream and it shows them on screen. It also adds them for subscriptions. So I think it's a very cute overlay that doesn't take a lot of space. That is very, very, very fun. So you will find it in the OBS overlays. That is a tool that you can put out or you can click here and go to OBS overlays. Let's do it with this one. We can click on uh, edit overlays. Then we are in the overlays. If you have never been here before, check them out. We have about 20 overlays that you can implement. But the one that we are looking for today is in special overlays. I put it on the top. It's called the tip jar. So you can click on implement now, which will open up this window with a little beautiful tip jar. And then here in the select modification tab, you can click on general and modify the tip jar however you want. You have a couple of customizations and I will go over them real quick. The tip jar color is the color that you want your tip jar to be. So we have a green one, a red one, a transparent one, and so on. You can then set the amount of profile pictures throwing in, pearls and bars. What I mean with profile picture is whenever you get like bars, uh, the pearls as an example, there are also going to be small profile pictures that you're going to collect uh, of the user that supported you. And you can set the amount of these things. So if you set this to low, it's going to be less profile pictures. Uh, you can also disable them to, by setting them to none. And then you can do the same thing for pearls or bars. Why is this cool? Because uh, imagine you just want to have a bars tip jar or a pearls tip jar. You can do so by setting one of both to none and the other one to like medium, low or high. Then um, very, very important is the maximum amount of objects that be, can be in here. If you don't have a really, really strong computer or like a decent computer, you should keep this on like something like 50 or 30. If you feel like your, your frames are like stuttering in the overlay, you can set this lower. What this creates is whenever you have like the maximum amount of pearls, it's going to remove the ones that have been inserted before, right? Um, so this is this is quite smart if you don't want your computer to fry out but if you have a good computer you can just keep this on like 80 and it's gonna fill up the whole tip jar all right now we come to the implementation we copy the URL by clicking on this copy URL button we go on our OBS bam we create a new browser source by right-clicking clicking add or pressing the plus button and then we click on browser then we create a new C, uh, a new source, we press OK. Now I have to be careful that you guys can see this. Um, hoppala, hoppala. Okay, perfect. So we copy paste the URL in here. We check the, the, um, the, the, the size, the width and height. So that's 1000 and 1800. So we set this to 1000 and we set this to 1080 not 800 sorry and very important for this feature which is different for others set a custom frame rate so click on use custom frame rate and set this to 60 why because then it has more time to ca uh, more uh, calculation time over in a second so it calculates the position 60 times which makes it more fluent once we did that, we have our tip jar here. What I want you to do is try to not crop it. So try not to crop it. You can just size it down like this. You can just click the upper edge and then move it smaller like this. There you go. This is important. Why? Because with this, um, you still have the space up here where the pearls spawn. And then in the end, we click it and we can see the pearls jump into the tip jar. All right, that's it. I hope you have a beautiful day. You can try out the feature and you enjoy it. And I'll see you soon. Bye.